guys. <laughs> yes, today is my birthday and this is really last minute decision, but I'm going to attempt to um, visit the locations from the movie Ernest Saves Christmas. Um, I thought it would be a good idea since Christmas is right around the corner and I've never done it. I actually started watching the movie last night. <laughs> I've never seen that movie before, but um, I did start it and it's cute. I didn't finish it though. I, I gotta finish it, but I thought it'd be cool because I'm sure that there's some fans out there from the movie. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get to all the locations. There's not that many. Um, there's one that's at the airport. I am not going to the airport. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna get to the ones that are around the area. So um, why don't you guys stick around, all right? <laughs> Okay, so I have a birthday dinner to get to, so I don't think I'm gonna get off the car, but I'm gonna show you guys where they filmed towards the beginning of the movie when Harmony was um, trying to get away without paying, I think it was, and that waiter chases after her, you know, tr you know, tries to stop her or anything. But anyways, it, it was, um, that scene was filmed here to the left. This is downtown Orlando. Um, so I'm gonna see, there's like all these people. Can you go? I know that I shouldn't be doing this right now, but um, this is where it all filmed in this street right here. So it was either the left or I believe it was right here on the left where all these kids are. That's right about where the where it filmed. And then she's seen coming through this street right here. There's a corner. You'll you'll notice this right here. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna find parking but this is that street corner where the waiter stops he stops like right about there and I believe she keeps running off that way but she comes from the right hand side there so I think the scene starts over here um, but yeah I just kind of wanted to show you the area oh hold on right there this is a corner I was showing you guys And right now I'm at the house. This is supposed to be Ernest's house, which I believe right now is completely abandoned. Um, I was reading online that they're thinking of demolishing the house. I'm not sure if that's still a thing, but um, when you first see the house, all these trees weren't here. So you, it's kind of hard to recreate that same scene. But if I step out on the street, you'll notice that building in the background so they kind of show that building and then they show the mailbox that says Ernest. And I think the mailbox was like right here and they kind of just go up this way. And another scene is when she's talking to Ernest and Santa Claus, his truck is parked right here and when she's talking to him the camera kind of does the angle from through the window and you can see her standing right here then when they leave the car drives off this way and you'll notice both of these houses in the background and then she pretends to go back into the house she's kind of standing closer she gets up the stairs and kind of stands there waits for them to leave and then walks back down she grabs something from a boat a bag from the boat right here and then that's the end of that scene there Okay, so now I've arrived at the location where Ernest dressed up like a old lady to find Joe, I think it was. 
You're gonna have to excuse me about the names. <laughs> but anyways, I think this is the building right here. He walks up these stairs dressed like an old lady right there. And uh, I believe there's only two scenes that filmed in the exteriors. I don't know if they filmed inside. I didn't do too much research on this movie. I just wanted to show you guys a few locations, but um, there was two scenes, him walking in and then him walking out. So when he's going up the stairs, you'll notice these two signs right here. This one actually read Superior Talent Incorporation and everything pretty much looks the same. There was more plants in the planters here and this red R wasn't there before but both of these were and these lights and the doors pretty much look exactly the same this is actually right across the street from i believe this is lake eola which is actually oh uh, yeah it is lake eola um which was really easy for me to find a lot of locations since i'm from here and i recognize them when i saw the movie but yeah there's lake eola so if you are looking for this building just go to lake eola and you'll find it and then the next scene is him coming out. These steps might as well be Mount Everest. So now I've arrived at the Amtrak station here in Orlando, and I don't know if they're gonna allow me to go in there at all and record. Actually, I'm not even sure that I'm supposed to even park here because it says overnight parking only. So I better hurry. But anyways, um, I just wanted to at least make a video that I'm here in case. I don't get to show you guys, but wish me luck. This is the station right here. When she's seen walking towards the station, she's on the other side over here. So I need to try to get all the way over for you guys. But this is the building here. And you actually see Orlando on it. So I got to find that sign where it says Orlando on the sign, which I believe is all the way back there. Okay, so here we go. This is the angle that you see it. Um, I think she was standing on this side and crosses over right here and then this is more of the angle. Um, they also filmed inside. I'm going to see how well I can, um, if I can get inside I asked permission and I was able to get to this side over here and they said okay. So this is the angle now that you'll see it. So let me back up a little bit so you guys can get the exact shot. Um. <laughs> See, it, ha it works when it's your birthday, guys. All right, hold on. All right, there it is. This is the angle that I needed. Check that out. So yeah, so she crosses right here and goes inside to get a ticket. She just basically wants to get out of here. And the guy tells her that the closest that she could get would be Miami. the inside right here. I believe she walks in through these doors. At some point she sits here. Everything pretty much looks the same in here. Um, actually you'll notice these booths right here right behind me. So let me get this angle here. Yeah this is the angle that you see right here. She sits in one of these. I would have to look real quick. So pretty. So she comes in from this door right here actually because you'll notice these steps in the background. Um, and then the door is already open when she comes in, I think. And walks in right here, asks for a ticket here. And then at some point she sits down. I still haven't found which bench it is. Let me figure that out. Okay, so she walks through these doors. Like I was saying, buys a ticket over here and ask what's the soonest ticket. And then she walks this way over here and sits right over here. There's some kids sitting, I believe, on this side, but this is where she actually sits down. I think it's awesome that there's a Christmas tree right now here. And then in the background, you'll notice this right here. And that second angle is taken actually from right here. You'll see the kids sitting right here. And then you'll notice all this, the Amtrak in the background and everything. So crazy how this looks so similar. All right, guys, let's go off to the next location. All 
Okay guys, so I've arrived at the last location for this movie. This is Orlando Shakes now. Um, this is all part of the Orlando Science Center. There is also another building over there, but Orlando Shakes is where a lot of um, Orlando theater and burlesque and, you know, there's a lot that goes on here when they have, um, Oh, I forgot what the festival is called, the French Festival. This is where it takes place. So a lot of my friends perform right here. So I knew this spot the minute I saw it in the movie. But this is where Ernest drops off Santa Claus um, after he picks him up at the airport. And the car parks right up front here. Um, it actually read Orlando Children's Museum, I believe, um, right up front. This has changed a lot since filming. Um, this this right here was not there. Um, now it reads John and Rita Loans Shakespeare Center, but um, like I said, it's been through a lot of construction and a lot of changes, so it does look a little different now than it did back then. I'll show you guys around. Oh, and they also filmed inside, so if I'm allowed to uh, record in there, I will. Um, if not, then you're just gonna have to get a little exterior shot. <laughs> All right, so here it is. Um, like I was saying, I believe the sign was right here that read Orlando's Children's Museum. And I believe the cab was right here. Um, there was some like, I think there was like a Christmas tree out here somewhere. Um, and yeah, this wasn't here, so you, won't, you wouldn't see that. The doors do look pretty much the same though from when they filmed back then. And they did um, change inside a little bit, but for the most part, um, it looks pretty similar. So when the cab first pulls up, it comes from this direction here. And stops right about there. I'm like watching the movie as I make these videos. And then yeah, there was a Christmas tree right here. And then the sign Orlando's Children's Museum. So I'll just show you guys a little bit. So um, this is what it looks like now. To the left here, that's where the desk was, um, which is no longer there, as you can see. But um, Santa Claus kind of stops like right where that sign is, where it says Orlando Shakes. And it's talking to that lady. But yeah, just wanted to show it to you guys a little bit. Like I said, it changed a little bit, but um, I believe there's a couple of scenes like right here, I think. But they do film several times right outside here. That's it guys. I, I know this is a short video, but I hope you've enjoyed this quick little surprise <laughs> video that I was not planning on at all. So um, yeah, I do. Um, I did finish my video, the other one, my other filming location, which I'm not going to tell you what it is, um, but I'm still editing that one. So I'm really trying, I'm really going to try to go home and edit this video after I go to my birthday dinner. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and I will see you guys next time on my next filming location. Bye!